turn our attention to weather. We experienced some surprising weather today. Rainstorms right after we'd finished up with monsoon. Nine on your side's Craig Smith was out in the rain today. He joins us now live in one of the places that flooded pretty heavily. Craig. Well, right now we're on Harrison between Golf Links and Irvington, and we're seeing a continuation of what we saw at five o'clock. Lots of cars that are ignoring those road closed barricades. Those are legal traffic signals. That's like running a stop sign. And even though it appears like the Pantano wash is not running at the moment, just because it is that it's not running, that does not give you the privilege to ignore that stop sign. That's like running a stop sign just because there's nobody there in traffic. But besides this, we're going to show you some other more extreme weather. The storm struck with a bang in the Cassis Adobas area. Lightning hit a palm tree and Northwest firefighters rushed to put it out before the fire spread to Janessa Teresa's house. It was crazy. Since it was all dark from the rain, it was like a light. It was, it was really crazy. Like a torch, I would think? Yeah, like a torch, exactly. For a lot of people, the rain was mainly an issue on the streets. Drivers had to be careful to avoid accidents on the slick pavement. The Pantano wash was flowing across Harrison, and a lot of drivers ignored the usual safety advice to turn around rather than cross high water, where it can be hard to estimate just how deep that water is. At Udall Park, the Ramada helped, but the unexpected rain still put a bit of a hitch in the picnic for the Tucson Social Seniors Group. It was a little dicey for a while there. We obviously got a late start, but we got poured on, wind blown, all kinds of things. But with the event planned well in advance and a good crowd expected, they stuck it out and pulled it off. And Alan Jensen and his friend Yankee had to do some adjustment too when weather forced them to reschedule their walk. Surprising. I thought I'd be out walking the dog early but it was raining pretty good at our house, so finally getting out. Now here's something to remember, and it's a good thing for these drivers to remember as they ignore these warning signs, go through a legal traffic barrier, and cross down across the, where the Pantano Wash crosses Harrison. Even though a wash is dry right now, because it's been raining up in the mountains, water could be working its way down the wash, even though, even though it's not raining where you are. So even though that wash may seem safe and dry at a moment, at this moment, it could be filled with a flash flood and catch you. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9 on your side.